Hey, it's Matt from Custom Car Grills with a mesh install for a 100 series Land Cruiser. This video was made using an aftermarket grill, but the install should be very similar for OEM grills as well. To get started, I'm going to grab my handsaw. This will make short work of vertical support bars. I'm leaving a little room from the edge so that I don't cut into the plastic further than needed. The large horizontal bars aren't difficult to cut through, but I might need a couple different angles of approach to cut all the way through them. With all the cuts made, the center section should lift right out and it can be thrown away. Next up, I'll grab my Dremel and equip it with the number 543 cutting and shaping wheel. The top of this wheel is abrasive and it can be used to easily trim down some of the remnants of the bars that were just removed. Again, I'm keeping my distance a little here, but you know, if I cut too deep into the edge, it can be repaired in later steps. The lower corners are especially tricky to work around. The horizontal bar in this area should be cut in line with the prominent edge of the fastener. I'll get my handsaw back out and cut the bar a pinch wider than what I think I'll need. Test fitting our mesh piece at this point is a good idea. This area can be trimmed further if needed if the mesh is fitting a little too tight. Next, I'll grab my Dremel again and get the sanding drum attachment equipped. I can refine further the remaining areas that still have some parts of the bars. It's still best not to dig into the edge if possible. The lower edge mounting clip area can now be recontoured if desired. The sanding drum works fairly well, but I also found that the cutting and shaping wheel can work surprisingly well here too. Using the cutting wheel for this step is a little bit more challenging, but I feel that it's actually more effective than the sanding drum. Then I'll grab some sandpaper to get the edges as smooth as possible. This is just to refine some of the rough spots that are still left. Here's a quick look at our work thus far. Everything's looking pretty good and I think it's time to fix up the left and right edges. To prevent any spillover from the repair material, I taped off the front and back edges. The plastic filler I like to use in projects like this is PlyoGrip by Valvoline. These side edges are quite uneven on the stock grill and this step will reshape the area to be a nice and smooth edge. It's important to get this built up so that there's enough of an edge to sand smooth, but there's no need to build it up excessively far. Using a small brush to spread the plyo grip around will ensure an even and uniform fill. If there's any excessive buildup from dispensing too much, it should be brushed away during this step. Once this is cured, the tape that was preventing any spillover can be removed and thrown away. Now it's time to get the sandpaper out once again, and this will be the last of the sanding and also one of the most important steps of the whole project. The edge needs to be super smooth when this is all done, and the contour needs to look natural. What I'm showing here is just the rough sand, but afterward I'm going to use a little bit of finishing putty. A good finishing putty can really help fill in any pinholes or patch in any small uneven areas that may be left. This is how my grill frame looked right before paint. Everything is all sanded smooth and ready to go, including the back of the side edges. For the paint job, we did a flat black finish, and this is starting to look really good already. Simply swapping the frame from chrome to black makes a huge difference, and we haven't even installed the mesh yet. Speaking of the mesh, here's a look at the mesh piece we have for sale on our website. It's pre-bent and pre-cut in all the right spots to be the right shape and size to use for this mod. Depending on how the lower corners were cut, minor adjustments may be needed in this spot. To install the mesh, I'll first flip the grill frame around because the mesh wraps around the back of it. From there, the mesh should go right over the back, like so. Again, the lower corners may need minor adjustment depending on how some of the areas were cut. Once the mesh is fit in place properly, to hold it tight against the back of the grill, I'll grab some cable ties and foam. 
The foam helps protect the finish of the grill frame, and the ties will help keep the mesh in place. The ties need to be firmly attached, but there's no need to over tighten them because that might distort the shape of the frame. I like having the tail end of the ties on the back of the mesh. This usually gives it the best hold. With all the ties in place, the tail ends can be cut off and thrown away. I'll give this a quick look over to make sure all the bit flaps are making good contact with the frame. If the mesh flaps aren't close to making contact, then it's best to adjust them before moving on. To bond the mesh and frame together, I'm going to use the remainder of the plyo grip used earlier. A good alternative is automotive goop if a different adhesive is needed. With the plyo grip install, I'm simply just applying this through the mesh so that it's making good contact with the grill frame as well as the mesh. Once some has been dispensed, I'll go back over it with a brush to smooth it out and ensure full coverage. Here's a quick close-up of some of this step. Again, it's just as easy as applying this through the mesh and then brushing over top of it to spread it around. Once this is all cured, all the ties can be cut off and the foam can be removed. The mesh install is now complete. Let's flip it around and see how it turned out. Wow! This looks great, and it's not even on the vehicle yet. This is such a big transformation from the factory grill, and it's really a must-have mod for any Land Cruiser owner looking to modernize their front end. Overall, this grill makes for a great weekend project, and it can be easily customized with letters or emblems. Now, let's check this one out installed on our customer's vehicle. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's sleek, it's modern, and the swap from chrome to black is a big improvement. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions about this mod, then feel free to contact us. And thanks for watching.